Hey, what's going on, brothers and sisters? So I had to remake this um, this video. It's it's the Great Catching Away Exposed. I mean, not exposed. Explained. Excuse me. Um, I know I kind of made one for my phone, but it, it had, like, really bad quality. So now I'm going to actually do it from here. What did the Apostle Paul mean by a falling away in the end times? Okay. It was February 8th, 2011. I know this article is really, it's not really old, old. But, why do people who follow a great religious leader during what many call the great falling away of the great apostasy, those interested in the signs of the end times often take note of a warning given by Paul to the Thessalonians speaking about the return of Jesus Christ to earth. He writes, Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day will not come unless the falling away comes first. 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 verse 3. Then he proceeds to explain the falling away in greater details. Paul writes, it will involve the revealing of the man of sin, the son of perdition, who opposes and exalts himself all that, all that is called God, or that is worship. So that, <clears throat> that he sits as God in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 verses 3 and 4. Some man some man is going to style himself as greater than God, pretending to be God, and people will believe him. Why? Because the coming of the lawless one is according to the wicked workings of Satan with all power and signs and lying wonders, and with all unrighteous deception among those who perish because they did not receive the love of the truth, that they might be saved. And for this reason, God will send them a strong delusion, and they shall I believe a lie. Second Thessalonians chapter two, verse nine, nine through eleven. The man of sin, posing as God, would be performing supernatural acts with the help of the devil, deceiving all of those who have rejected God and putting himself in position to be worshipped by the world. Revelation chapter nineteen, verse twenty says, describes this powerful religious leader as a false, as the false prophet who works signs in connection with the political leader called the beast. The false prophet is. <clears throat> is the same as the one called another beast in Revelation chapter 13 verse 11 who performs performs miraculous signs in verses 14 and 15 he shall he is also the leader of the false church the harlot in Revelation chapter 17 verses 1 through 5 <clears throat> excuse me he is also referred to as another horn who were who will persecute the saints of the Most High and shall intend to change the times and the law in Daniel chapter 7 verse 8, chapter 20 through 22 and verses 24 through 25. There is much more on this subject of end time prophecies. Learn more in the related resources below. Okay, so I'm going to be switching over here now, It, which was pretty easy. I opened up another window. Okay, this is going to be on the same one but just different links. Are we living in the time of the end? Many biblical prophecies leave us in no doubt that increasingly cataclysmic events will occur before God's direct intervention <clears throat> in human affairs. Excuse me. What is the end? How does the Bible use the term time of the end? What exactly is it? Are we in that time yet? Is there a way to know? The, word in, the world in perpetual crisis <clears throat> Dang, excuse me, I have to keep clearing my throat, sorry. We could be headed for the greatest crisis in all of human history, culminating in the second coming of Jesus Christ. Noah and our time, a sobering parallel. Like the people in Noah's time who laughed and marked as he built the ark, in the time of this age will come, the overwhel overwhelming majority of are unprepared. Jesus Christ spoke of a coming end of the age. What did he mean? What age did he say would come to an end? The Bible speaks of the time of the end, but what exactly what is to come? What will come to an end? But biblical terms concerning concerning biblical terms for the coming of end of man's age. Some biblical terms have a considerably broader application in the three and a half year time of crisis immediately preceding Jesus Christ's return. Jesus Christ all of a prophecy. Where are we now? <coughs> Pain. Excuse me, guys. In a remarkable prophecy, shortly before his death, Jesus described the signs that would precede his return. 
What do these signs reveal? Did Jesus Christ foretell devastating storms? Are natural disasters, earthquakes, and hurricanes increasing as Jesus foretold? This generation will not pass. What did Jesus mean when he referred to this to this generation? And the end time in the book of Revelation, in the biblical book of Revelation, Jesus Christ foretold many more signs of the time of the end. What do these mysterious signs mean? The population explosion in prop and <clears throat> and prophecy. How is the increase of the world's, world's population related to prophecy? God's framework for end time prophecy. Bible prophecy reveals several specific conditions that must be met before Christ return to earth. We are on. Where are we on this prophetic time scale? Preparing for the end times. Why does God reveal? What the future holds so we will be surprised spurred to change what do we need to do to be prepared what can you do in light of many prophecies about the end of this age what can you do what should you do okay so guys I'm gonna tell you this much right now okay we are going to go through the Great Tribulation, and if we, if, well, it's not if, but it's when we lay our lives down for Jesus Christ, that's when he'll come back and we'll be, well, I can't say I will be, but, <laughs> you know, I'm praying and hoping that I, that I can get it, that I get <clears throat> into heaven, but that's when Jesus comes back and returns, and reigns for a thousand years with the saints that have been beheaded for their faith and for the testimony of Jesus Christ. So I love you guys. I hope this doesn't cause any confusion because I just made a <clears throat> I made a video before this one, well after this one, but it's going to appear before this one. But <clears throat> I'm just keeping everybody on the watch. Okay? Everybody prepare to go through the tribulation. So Anyways, YouTube, I'm out of here. I love you guys. Peace, God bless, and may God keep watching over you. Shalom.